Version 2.106 of the Feedback Fruits Tool Suite has been released with quite the list of new features. Let's go through them. First off, we have a handy new AI chat assistant. This automated system can answer user questions and still offers a clear pathway to talk to any of our human agents if needed. We have also added a new triaging flow to our chat service. This will help you get the right support as quickly and efficiently as possible. You can click on any of the three buttons from the landing page to begin. From there, you can select, I have a question to ask a general question, I found a bug to report a bug or an error, and I want to ask for a new feature to make a feature request. Both eChat Assistant and Triage Flow are available right now for all users. Next, some adjustments have been made in Group Contribution Grading. In Group Member Evaluation, Group Contribution Grading now allows greater freedom in customizing grade adjustment rules based on students' Group Contribution Factor or Group Skill Factor. For those who want to use their own grade adjustment rules, there is now full control on how grades are altered, without having to download spreadsheets and make manual adjustments. For example, the old system would automatically assign a zero to students with a low group contribution factor or group skill factor, but this can now be changed directly within group member evaluation. All users of this tool will have instant access to these improvements. Next up, Mark has done is saying goodbye. Previously, in interactive study materials, students had to check the easily missable Mark as done button whenever they were finished with the material. This caused an issue where students were missing a step to proceed, even though they completed all the tasks in their study material. Now, the button has been removed, making it more obvious when the work is finished. And next, copying activities inside the LMS has been improved. Before, when making a copy of a course, the system would copy the oldest version of an activity instead of the newest one where changes may have been made. Now, you have the option to make a copy of the most recent version, or you can make a copy of a specific version. By default, Feedback Fruits will copy the most recent version of an activity in the copy chain, instead of the oldest. Do note that in Canvas, a modification to the LTI config is needed. See the release notes in the Help Center for details or get in touch if needed. Also in the LMS, grades are now processed differently. We've introduced a new feature called Conditional Grade Posting. This allows only students who have opened the activity to receive a grade in the LMS, meaning students who don't open an activity will not receive a grade, whereas previously they'd receive a zero. This is crucial for institutions where the presence of any grade is intended to indicate attendance or participation in the learning activity. Currently, this feature is feature flagged, so it can be enabled upon request. And lastly, there have been some improvements to auto-grouping in group formation. Auto-grouping has been updated to make it a bit more reliable and user-friendly. It now ensures that groups are successfully created every time Users can even start the process, close the window, and return later to see and publish the completed groups, making this feature especially convenient for larger courses. For the full release notes, do refer to our Help Center article, and if you have any questions about these changes or ideas or suggestions that could make your teaching experience smoother, don't hesitate to get in touch and see the fruits of your feedback.